Meanwhile, China has expressed condolences to the victims aboard the Ukrainian International Airlines flight that crashed shortly after taking off from Tehran, killing all 176 people on board. In the meantime, China's Southern Airlines has canceled a Wednesday flight from Rurumqi to the Iranian capital Tehran. The airline said the decision was made over security concerns. The flight has left Beijing and is en route to the city of Rumji in northwest China. The airline has not ruled out the possibility of canceling more flights heading to Tehran. China Southern is the only Chinese airline operating flights from China to Iran. The company launched a flight in 2006 and operates the Beijing Rumji Tehran flight five days a week. And earlier, we discussed the escalating tensions in the Middle East with Wang Jin of China's Northwest University. He shared with us his views on China's role in easing the situation. Take a listen. Once the war erupted, I mean, between right now between Iran on the one hand and the United States on the other hand, it could be very soon escalated, be escalated into the four uh, confrontation in the region and hurt everyone. So nobody will be safe in this region. Not only Iran themselves, but not only the United States in the region, but also Israel, Saudi Arabia, nobody will be safe. And we have to know that China is, uh, is very important partners in, uh, in for the Middle Eastern states. And also China's Belt and Road Initiative needs the cooperation, needs the, the, the kind of the, the assistance of, of all the regions. So China needs this, the peace and the stability in this region. Nobody wants to see the war. Nobody wants to see the casualties. We want China also want to do something to facilitate the peace and facilitate stability in this region in the future.